Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, divine prophets, healers, and guides of the resurrection of the new time. Today is a very special day. As the super full moon and Sagittarius gateway opens, we have a 131313 portal activation with Keen 26 White Cosmic World Bridger. This is one of the 13 clear signs of Mayan King Pakal Votan, as the prophecy of the eagle and the condor of the new earth is in fruition. With this powerful synchronicity, we had two beams of light appearing on the Schumann charts at amplitudes of 44 and 46 hertz. For the next three weeks, we have a powerhouse of alignments and energies flowing into this realm from on high for our full activations. Resurrections, Rejuvenations, and Ascension We have three powerful celestial events for the next three Tuesdays in a row, with tomorrow being the intense, fiery, super full moon in Sagittarius, next Tuesday the summer solstice, and Tuesday the 28th being the new moon. As our DNA continues to receive packets of light encoded with the new information and codes for the crystallization transformation of our 12-strand DNA of the 144, one of the best things you can do for yourself and humanity is to send loving energy to your physical vessel, your cells, organs, atoms, and tissue. Transmit loving energy to your emotional, mental, etheric, spiritual, and causal bodies, and then send that loving energy out into the world. The power of your mind when focused on love is the most powerful tool in the universe for this great awakening and ascension process. Direct this healing pranic energy within and then expand it out from your center into the ends of the infinite multiverse. We are in the final phases of our incubation period as we emerge from our cosmic egg, the chrysalis of time, as galactic Christed butterflies, angelics of the new earth. The sky eyes of our dragon people are opening as our spirits rise in the glory and honor of the new golden age of eternal life. I am the way, the truth, and the light, the light of God made manifest. O oh, holy is this day of the new heaven upon the new earth. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today, so be sure to stick around to the very end. And please do us a favor, share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. Now we're going to continue with a special transmission from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio. The Resurrection of the New Time White Cosmic World Bridger, Keen 26, 13th of June 2022 According to Mayan cosmology, we have just stepped onto the Rainbow Bridge. Pakal Votan Prophecy Day. White Cosmic World Bridger 3 Kimi. Keen 26 is one of the 13 clear signs, galactic signatures, that were revealed inscribed on the lid of the tomb of the Mayan king, Pakal Votan, indicating the potency of this day. It is the 13th sign shown, and today is the 13th day of June, and the 13th day of the 13-day wave spell cycle of anchoring the timeless receptivity of the white wizard, galactic shaman, 131313, triple cosmic magic. The world bridger tribe 6 with the wizard tribe 14, together make tribe 20, Ahau, the sun, penultimate embodiment of the 20 tribes. It is interesting that the span of time from Keen 26, White Cosmic World Bridger, through to Keen 40, the Yellow Magnetic Sun, occurring on the 27th of June 2022, 966, refers to the resurrection of the new time. According to Mayan cosmology, we have just stepped onto the Rainbow Bridge, one Ahau, Keen 40, kicks off the 13-day wave spell journey of enlightenment. This is very fitting as we approach the gate to the second heaven on 15th of June 2022, which is the second 666 portal in June. 
This also aligns with the full moon in freedom, loving and wise Sagittarius for the strawberry supermoon tomorrow on June 14, 2022 at 8.52 a.m. UTC. The supermoon is opening the second gate with divine blessings and illumination. Throughout the entire month of June, we have an alignment of planets which culminates in a grand celestial alignment on June 24th, 2022, which is the third 666 portal opening the door to source through the throne room. What an extraordinary supernatural divine blessing for humanity. Very exciting times, dear planetary wizards. Aho, planetary keen, welcome to the new time. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Mary Long. We are transcending, transforming in the golden light of Christed realms, integrating the vastness of energetic frequencies. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Valerie A. Elster. New temple codes plus body templates coming in today. Head eye pressure, seeing temple mount activating. Release, surrender. And from Divine Brothra of the Light Pars Kute, it is a time to celebrate our lives as a being of divine light. In this rising waves of new earth energies, we are expanding our energetic presence and signature and becoming a beacon of divine light for humanity and for our beloved Mother Gaia. As the full moon in Sagittarius is approaching, we will be experiencing very strong diamond code downloads as we will be opening our angelic templates in our DNA. It is time now to manifest all that we so desire for ourselves and the divine new earth. It is finally time to say goodbye to the darkness and celebrate the coming of the new golden dawn of the divine new world. Let's keep staying in harmony and fully connected with our mighty I Am Presence at all times. With divine love of one, Pars Kute. And from divine Sistar of the Light, Celia Fenn. So post the 666, I am feeling the comforting presence of angels and the royal star lions around me. Of course, we are moving towards Lionsgate, so they are helping to align us with what promises to be a massive shift as we enter the new time spiral. But first, the full moon in Sagittarius coming up on the 14th of June and the solstice on the 21st. I must say it hasn't been easy since the 666 portal. We are asked to focus within and keep our frequency high in the range of love and compassion. With an open heart and a clear energy signature light body, and of course, all the lower frequency energy that surrounds us means we are seesawing up and down quite a bit. Archangel Mikael reminds us that we are part of the rising wave of the new earth and not the descending wave of the old earth. Whenever we feel the emotional vibes of old earth pulling us down, we need to refocus on the new earth and consciously choose to align with what is coming in. This is especially true with all the gloom and doom and fear tactics that are being employed to make us believe that there is not enough on the earth to support us in our lives. This is so not true. We have all that we need within ourselves to create a beautiful and abundant life. I remind myself every day to be grateful for all that I have and all that will come to me as I walk the empowered path of light and integrity. I have confidence that all my needs are met and that I am blessed and cared for. The angels are all around and the beautiful star lions. Have a wonderful day, everyone. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Rick Jewers. Update. A regressive gene component has just been removed from the collective. This allows for further expansion into the consciousness and the evolution of the physical vessel to the next level. As a result, the Pleiadian gift set will be free to utilize and develop at a more rapid rate individually. Certain co-creators that have obtained the highest virtuous elements that can exist in this present atmosphere will also enjoy and experience more of their manifestation creator abilities that are humanity-wise oriented. This omission will also activate the subsequent waves to higher degrees along with the quickened ability to acclimatize and adapt to the higher consciousness. Shifts forward are occurring regularly now and even with time being skipped 
as well as seeing fluctuations in the reality as it quickly changes. Where time does not exist in the higher state of being, those co-creators empower to immeasurable levels, while in humanoid form are having a direct impact upon reality in good and beneficial ways. These impacts and fluctuations may also be registered by certain earth instruments, and because of this, confirmations will also arise from that venue. Today was a day of significant vessel upgrades for all, as well as a more aligned tributary to the highest timeline. Love and Light, Rick Jewers. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Ali Ray. To you who feels to be in deep pain and suffering, I am holding you in my heart. And although you may see no way through and feel no love or light, I ask you, beloved one, to go deep into your heart, and with all the strength you have, ask love to light the way. Do not fight your feelings or deny your thoughts. Just let them all be as they are. But with all the strength you can conjure, go deeply into your heart and call upon love. It is love that has the power to overcome absolutely every conceivable experience on earth, every single one. We all know stories of radical and instantaneous healing and miracles of every kind. Do not leave yourself out of this possibility. If there is pain, there is a gift on the other side of it, always. And if you will do all you can to be in love, no matter the circumstances, grace will undoubtedly find you and uplift you, radically altering your perception and circumstance. It is so. Love makes the impossible possible. Do not lose hope, beloved. Do not lose faith. Do your very best to breathe easy and commune with the love within your heart. Allow what needs to leave to go. Send love to your precious vessel if it is in need of healing. Breathe in love. Keep breathing love. You are so very, very loved. All that is God dwells within you. There is no greater power than what resides in your own heart. I so love you, dear one. Love is blooming you wherever you are planted. Love is, love is, love is. God is, God is, God is. And from Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy, Athens, Energy Update, there is a new energy present on Earth. It has been arriving for some time now, and we have all been receiving it. It is a very calm and serene one, but also one that carries a powerful reason. It has been spreading and slowing things down, and it is doing it with absolute persistence. This presence will not take a no for an answer. It will be felt and perceived in every way if needed. This is why everyone has been feeling exhausted and sleepy lately. This energy is very specific and its goal is very specific too. It is an embracing one that is closing all around each one of us, becoming tighter and tighter. Through the feminine divine logos of correction, it pushes each one in the position of alignment to the strings of the crystalline grid and the true solar source. In order for all the chakras to be aligned, for the final clicking and switching of the DNA, which is to take place during the phase of the actual transformation of physical reality. This position is unique for each one and it has been given by the higher self. The twin flames are in charge of this process. In the physical reality, this translates as if we are being gently pushed to slow down the mind, rest, sleep, and open up in order to allow to really see, listen, sense, reflect, practice inner examination, do necessary purification, releasing and correction, and heal, choose and become only certain things in our lives, those that correspond and serve our true essence, identity, wholeness, and consciousness and towards only the certain direction that will bring us to this DNA switching and transformation. Nothing else matters now. Literally nothing. No job, no ambitions, no obligations, no plans, nothing. All messages have been clearly given to all, and each is called to embrace this movement willingly and in trust so that the process can take place harmoniously. Resisting this energy of aligning to the will of the true self can actually result in harsh and devastating events and blockages in the external reality that really have no reason of taking place, unless one is only giving attention and energy to feed the needs of the ego-mind personality. 
Everyone is called to rest now and just feel. Recognize and trust the inner guidance of the heart and the self and absorb the inner changes because from July onwards, the scenery will change and the flow of events will be very demanding. Our focus then will turn to very different things and we will need fast adjustments, which we will be able to perform only if we now rest and allow this energy to bring us to the right position. This is a position of true power, one that no external factor can touch, and which can only be achieved through the soul and the spirit, and then the body can follow. This kind of power is what heroes and heroines carry and have available. It is the actual combination and merging of love and divine intelligence, wisdom and the path of the sun, and the path of all blessings of true life. The two lobes of the brain are reconnecting and recognizing each other again after so long. They are now in deep dialogue and synchronization. The same goes for every double organ or parts of the body. This is such a huge change for the human consciousness and organism in its wholeness. New energies and new realizations will be coming out of this reconnection and inner bridging. No more separation, disagreement, and oblivion between the two opposites. We are all preparing now for the upcoming fast and drastic changes. When we will be ready, we will be shown how to safely leave our old life once and for good and create our new and blessed one with new roots and true values at heart as one. We have ourselves and we have each other. This is everything. Erini. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Ramona Lappin. Imagine the possibilities of all that could go right. We had a powerful 3.4 long duration M-class solar flare and CME with current associated radio blackout erupting around 3 a.m. UTC this morning, as well as raised solar wind speeds and interplanetary magnetic field instabilities and a brief geomagnetic storm overnight. The Schumann resonance spiked earlier on and it seems to be rising again. These past few weeks and days have been beyond massive and intense, but oh so worth it, as we are rising from the rubble, slowly coming out of our cocoons. We have fully disconnected from the false phantom matrix, which is now being fully dissolved along with all of its creations. Our bodies and consciousness are undergoing a powerful shift and metamorphosis into our diamond avatar self shedding all related AI materials within ours in the planetary field. It's actually hard to write and put all into adequate words at this time. We have gone beyond all that is linear. Our diamond mind and heart are coming fully online, and we are now collectively fully connecting back into our true north, the heart of the Andromeda galaxy and Aurora host, as the seven higher heavens are wide open and Source flooding us with pure Source light, love and reconnecting us to cosmic God Source consciousness, and eternal God Source backflow return, perpetual energy flows. All patterns of life, all blueprints and elementals are being re-encrypted back to their original divine blueprints plus upgrades. Our return to eternal lotus flower of life geometric patterns plus so much more the old is no more and it's all new now. I'm lost for words truly to fully describe the immensity of what is unfolding and what we have just helped make happen. We did it and keep doing it. We are free now. But as I have said many times, we keep co-creating the future in every now moment. That's what all of this is truly about. Us fully remembering and reclaiming all of our power, memories, gifts, abilities, responsibility and accountability over ours and the collective timelines, realities again. As all of the false AI timelines and matrix are in full collapse mode now, we have to step up and take over. We are writing the script now. Always in alignment with the law of one, we have had enough training for us now to step up and show the way as the new guardians of Nova Gaia and act accordingly. Aligning with this true and full remembrance of our one true self is what brings the organic realities online now. We do this through our every word, thought, feeling, belief, and action we take. What we feed our attention, energy, and sacred life force towards has never been more important. What is our true currency? 
We now imagine the possibilities of all that could go right, all the dreams that do come true now, all the amazing miracles on their way to us. Imagine, just imagine. Keep merging with that reality, with the frequency of that which you already are. Because now is the time, out of time, to fuel our dreams, goals, and visions with our sacred life force. To help make them happen, which will happen at super extra fast quantum God source speed now. As all the interference patterns fully lift and dissolve, and we stop feeding those we don't wish to experience. As we awaken the magic that lies deep within, because this is what we came for. To make the impossible possible and the invisible visible. As we fully remember that it's all a quantum dream, because this is when reality becomes a dreams and dreams become reality. We can now dream all new worlds into being in quantum no time, embracing the uncertainty that lies ahead in childlike wonder, whilst we imagine and always try to co-create the very best. The divine child is now safe to come out to play and have fun living again, creating again like a child in timeless flow, with no attachment to outcome or need for approval, just out of pure joy and love for creating, creation. When life becomes art, and art becomes our new way of living, life becomes play and fun again, this is the key. This is bliss. This is freedom. This is true abundance. When there's no thing to fear and there's no thing missing, as it's been all within us all along. All of creation to be accessed and ignited from deep within. The new Eden unlocking from within us now, as we fully remember and never forget again. That we are always dreaming, always co-creating, always projecting, always imagining, painting, weaving. Eternal love and blessings, Ramona. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica. Breath of light, be conscious of your breath today. Take moments to breathe. Feel the air moving through your lungs. Hold the air. Feel the new earth particles reaching you, moving through the light momentum of you. Your role now is to increase your self-awareness. Be awoken to the cosmic parameters of now. For the role of a way shower is to seek the wisdom from within and in every moment. The path of awakening consciousness is the path before you. To simply become more attuned to the forever unfolding presence of now. As the windows of light to reach us expand. Simply see these moments of self-expansion as check-in points to higher levels of awareness. Simply breathe in light, new earth light. As another week begins, opportunities for light expansion are endless. Sending waves of cosmic love, the Arcturians and Karen from KarenLithica.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, 144 God Code We are receiving a collective healing from cyclical, narcissistic abuse that is supporting the freedom and healing for the children and future generations. Due to your efforts and prayers to free and heal yourself from those karmic traps, the children are now being freed for rapture. The Sagittarius full moon is bringing our season of harvest through justice, God's law, God's will, and God's way. We have endured enough and it is time to prosper and thrive, and so too shall our children. Rapture is imminent. It's our time to shine with our Holy Grail counterparts, beloveds. Accept and receive this from the grace of God that has bestowed this unto you. This includes intellectual breakthroughs that will release the ego, worries, and negativity as part of our rites of passage into a new way of living. Continue releasing unfulfilling, non-committal, non-reciprocal people as those karmic relationships have come to a close. There is much better ahead for the 144,000 ground crew. We are traveling ahead into this when the time is ripe. For now it's important to be still and attract. You will be provided with downloads of new ventures, relationships, and opportunities that will continue exposing itself as the past timeline is removed. These are far more stable and have long-term growth. Welcome in this new love and trust what it brings. In Jesus Christos name, Amen. God bless you, Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Christy Ashley. Strawberry Super Full Moon in Sagittarius. 
The energies coming in with this full moon bring for the continued release of all that no longer serves us and will inspire intellectual pursuits and creativity. Rather than be called into action, you may be feeling the desire to pause and reflect on where things in your life are currently standing and be contemplating where you would like to direct your energy next. This is a great time to put pen to paper to channel in your truest desires, but also an adventurous and joyful moon that will stir your inner explorer and assist you in extracting from within all that you would like to create or bring forth into this new reality. The current collective energies are also still going through a purge release, so this will be heightened with the Sagittarius full moon influence. Spirit has been repeating integration, and I am feeling this in my own current energy field as well. Physical symptoms of this are gastro issues, muscle tightness, particularly in the neck, shoulders, and back, headaches, heart palpitations, fatigue, and increased astral travel, dream time, recall. Take this time to rest and be present in what cultivates a healthy and nurturing environment for yourself. Feed your mind with stimulating books or projects and give yourself the space needed to evolve and grow. All that is not of the light or lacking in purity will be bubbling to the surface collectively. Hold your field of love, forgiveness, and integrity and take frequent timeouts for yourself as needed over the next two weeks while this integration runs through. In perfect love and trust, Christy Ashley. And from Divine Bro, Throw of the Light, Eric Roth from Shamanic Astrology Mystery School, Full Moon at the Galactic Center. The full moon this month takes place on June 14th at the 23 degrees, 25 minutes Sagittarius, very close to the Galactic Center, which rests between the Scorpion and Archer constellations. The Earth is roughly between the Sun and Moon, each of which appear at opposite sides of the sky. The Sun is nearing the opposite of the galactic center, the galactic edge or extreme, and about a week from the solstice point. This full moon helps us dive into the deep waters of the skyscape, the billowing star clouds and densest population of stars. It reflects the light of the sun in Gemini in its own quest beyond our duality, as the moon's placement activates the quest for a higher or greater truth in Sagittarius. At the same time of this full moon, Mars is moving into a conjunction with Chiron in Aries. Mercury will have just moved back into the sign of Gemini, and Venus with Uranus in the sign of Taurus. Combine this shows a promise or intent for an opportunity to grieve and gather the needed medicine. What was lost through destructive missions and opening to the pleasures and treasures, novel change and invoke one's creative imagination to see beyond where we may be fixed. The full moon activates this fiery archetype of Sagittarius. Its essence is the ongoing journey itself for meaning and truth. It is not to stop at one specific truth, but to be open to the unfoldment of the truth through the journey. This can be paved by actual roads, trails, and pathways we travel along, including the inner ones in the subconscious and astral realm. The journey itself can be its own tangible, precious thing for the Sagittarian archetype, learning, exploring, and reaching out past the horizon into ever new territory. Gateways could be opened during this full moon to welcome the truth wherever it may come and from whatever it results in. Heavily inspired and drawn from the wisdom of Mark Edmund Jones and Dane Rudyard, Linda Hill's book The Sabian Oracle shares about each degree of the zodiac corresponding to an image or symbol. The Sagittarius full moon at 23 degrees, 25 minutes, we add one to come up with the symbol of 24 Sagittarius. This gives us the image of a bluebird. A sign of good luck and happiness is standing at the door of the house. The key words of 24 Sagittarius and hence this phase of the moon are calmness and rewards, promise of happiness, love and happiness available by acknowledging its presence, real estate, house boundaries, reminders of joy, cottages and picket fences, waiting for invitations to enter, omens of good luck, front doors and back doors. From shamanicastrology.com 
and from Divine Sistar of the Light Adrian Elise, Gaia Daily, June 13 through the 17th, Life Force. Energy is peaking out with today's Sagittarius full moon. With Jupiter and Mars and Chiron together in Aries, we are feeling the fire energy. It has been a while since we have been able to access this creation energy, and now we have to figure out what to do with it. Energy is shifting with Mercury moving back into Gemini today. Mercury is finishing up his retrograde cycle and coming out of shadow on the 18th. Energy is moving again, but it's been so long, we are not quite sure how to navigate this forward motion. In Gemini, it involves expressing ourselves in the world. The sun in Gemini is coming into square with Neptune. This is an identity crisis. Humanity is beginning to realize that if we don't rapidly evolve spiritually, we are sure to perish. The pressure is on to crack open into the bigger truth of who we really are. Venus at home in Taurus has been in conjunction to Uranus and getting activated into higher frequencies. In Taurus, this is about embodying the new energies on a cellular level. That is where we build new Earth. Venus is coming up to the north node of the moon, changing the direction for the feminine in each of us and inviting us to personally work with and embody this goddess energy. Mars is at home in Aries in conjunction to Chiron. The masculine is ready to heal his wounds. He stopped standing for the good and true when he felt unrecognized and underappreciated. He thought he failed her. He became disillusioned and disconnected from Source, like all of us, and is now fighting to find his way back home. Life Force energy activations are once again opening his heart to the love and beauty and bounty of this world. The masculine builder in each of us is aligning with his sacred work. He is serving the energy of creation by building beautiful spaces and ways to contain and support her magic. The sun will be in trine and the moon will be in sextile to Saturn for this full moon. It's all pointing to a completely new way and a completely new direction. Mercury will be in square to Vesta, asteroid goddess of sacred purpose, as he comes out of retrograde shadow. Our expression must involve and be completely focused on only what is in alignment with what we really came here to do. All this for a Sagittarius full moon and leading up to June solstice, when the sun moves over into the sign of Cancer. We are being invited into full expression of our true spiritual identity, path, purpose, and reason for being. We are landing home. From AdrianElise.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Mercury enters Gemini. Mercury now in direct motion re-enters Gemini. We were first here at the beginning of May, so yes, there may be echoes from that time, but now we're clearer about our choices, more informed, more able to make up our minds. For the next five days, pay attention to any repeating patterns or conversations, any sense of deja vu. These are the last lessons of the retrograde period. Generally, this is a time to be open to ideas and learning. Read, discuss, debate, catch up with friends, send an email or text or even an actual letter. The more we make a connection with one another, the more we understand our similarities and differences. Education helps to reconcile those that stand in different camps. Visit the library or your local bookstore. Be curious about life and all it has to offer. Ask questions. Listen. From LeahWhitehorse.com And from 13 Moon Peace Time. Today our galactic signature is Keen 26, White Cosmic World Bridger. Clear sign of Pakal Votan Keen. Cosmic History Quote for Moon 12, Day 15. The law of karma dharma can be altered allowing the human the opportunity to replace negative lines of forces with positive lines of force. Cosmic History Chronicles, Volume 2, Book of the Avatar, Jose Arguez, from 13moonpeacetime.com. And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 26, White Cosmic World Bridger. The number 13 is called Cosmic, and its keywords are Endure, Transcend, and Presence. 13 is very sacred, symbolizing the 13 moons we have each year. It is powerful and transformative. 
The last day of a wave spell is time to reflect on the past 13 days, so think carefully about the journey, as there is always a poetic connection between the first day and last. We began with the enchanting wizard, and now we transcend with the shamanic world bridger. The number is not easy and demands of us that we endure to transcend. The keywords associated with white world bridger are death, opportunity, and equality. The world bridger is always providing opportunities to cross a bridge, but as today is a number 13 day, it may be enduring to try. If you want to proceed, you have to pay the toll, symbolically speaking. Death is associated with the world bridger and this represents the shaman's death of letting go. To make it to the next level on your path, you must release what hinders you. Usually that's the ego, sometimes it's fear. Whatever it is, you will feel a whole lot lighter once you reach the other side. Each time we cross a bridge, we must sacrifice something, and this is where old tales come from about the troll under the bridge. This means we don't go up a level or be rewarded with progress without first earning it. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, White Cosmic World Bridger, 13 Kimi, Keen 26, 13th of June 2022, Enchanted Presence. Surrender to the magic of the cosmos. 13 6 2022 equal 13 6 6 equal 13 12 equal 4 3 equal 7. Day codes 13 cosmic goddess consciousness natural lore. 4 form structure foundation earth angelic. 7 magic mystic spiritual initiation solitude. Month year codes. 6. Heaven, Christ, Family, Romance, Fertility. 12. Acquiring Strength, Wisdom. 3. Holy Triad, Joy, Creativity, Divine. 20. The Awakening, Clear Vision. 22. Architect of Peace, Master Builder. Keen 26 equal 8. Infinity, Abundance, Source Flow. A very powerful cosmic day for expanding our consciousness through the art of surrendering to the power of love. Today is one of the 13 clear signs, galactic signatures, that were revealed inscribed on the lid of the tomb of the Mayan king, Pakal Votan, indicating the potency of this day. It is the 13th sign shown, and today is the 13th day of June, and the 13th day of the 13 wave spell cycle, of anchoring the timeless receptivity of the white wizard, galactic shaman, 13, 13, 13, triple cosmic magic. Tone of creation, let's go cosmic. The transcendent dynamic that runs the whole show. The all-encompassing everything that is the cosmic 13 perfectly transcends, taking magic flight and returning to the one once again. Cosmic is the last and final tone of creation in every 13-day wave spell. The highest octave, tone 13 operates in the spiritual realm. 13 is the mystical number of the cosmic order, the goddess in synchronic natural time. Cosmic action transcends, power endures, essence presence. Today at our conclusion of the white wizard wave spell, we are transcending into pure presence through our enchanted hearts. We commence the wave spell opening our heart to the white magic from spirit by learning to be still and receptive. Now our heart expands into pure cosmic consciousness, realizing that love is the force that binds the whole universe together. Through our united hearts, as we float in the field of oneness, eternally present in the now moment of existence, we have arrived. Add some, I am here. This is the stage of having transcended the physical, emotional, and mental realms and arriving at cosmic consciousness. Today's question is, are you ready to totally surrender, let go, and forgive your past in order to float in the endless sea of cosmic presence? In doing so, you reach a state of transcendence, finally closing the chapter of your life, now able to move across the rainbow bridge towards realizing cosmic consciousness in the new time. While planetary keen, it's really happening. Today we close the cycle of Ish, the magical shamanic white wizard who has enabled us to attune to truth through our precious hearts, reclaiming our white magical powers. Ish gifted us with the power of enchantment and endlessness, 
expanding our ability to receive and reflect infinite love available through Source. Now that we have forged a strong heart, connection with Spirit, we can effortlessly access the knowledge needed to accomplish great healing. As we embark on a new adventure with Manique, the Blue Hand, known as the Healer Archetype. And so, our journey through the Dream Spell continues. Divine blessings for transcending the death of the old time and resurrecting the bridge to endless cosmic love. In la catch a la keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 26, White Cosmic World Bridger. The mantra, the code for today is, I endure in order to equalize, transcending opportunity. I seal the store of death with the cosmic tone of presence. I am guided by the power of heart. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. So if you'd like to help support us, our work in this channel, you can do so by making a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. And we have our newest training up, the most powerful Qi Gung Healing. So our tribe on Patreon, be sure to check that out. Now I'd like to thank Divine Sister of the Light Sheila Sempek for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sister, for your continued support. We appreciate you very much and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us. If you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you can do so to our PayPal account at eaglelovecondor.com. I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totem, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmission with a powerful translation of the Lord's Prayer directly from Aramaic into English. O cosmic birther of all radiance and vibration, soften the ground of our being and carve out a space within us where your presence can abide. Fill us with your creativity so that we may be empowered to bear the fruit of your mission. Let each of our actions bear fruit in accordance with our desire. Endow us with the wisdom to produce and share what each being needs to grow and flourish. Untie the tangled threads of destiny that bind us as we release others from the entanglement of past mistakes. Do not let us be seduced by that which would divert us from our true purpose, but illuminate the opportunities of the present moment. For you are the ground and the fruitful vision, the birth, power, and fulfillment, as all is gathered and made whole once again. And so it is. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and powerful, full, strawberry, super moon, and Sagittarius, and a most healing and sacred blue hand wave spell, 444, coming in. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.